Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to be kind of going through my collection spreadsheet that I have. Um, just because I did a lot of work on this recently and I thought I would show you guys. Because um, I think these things are kind of interesting to see how people um, like digitally like organize and keep track of their collection. But anyways, um, I'll just start um, with the summary page here. So basically, it's just a summary, basic summary of all of the girl groups and boy groups I collect um, and just my totals. So. So I'll just have, like, I just have formulas in this column to keep everything up to date. So if I update anything in these two sheets down here, it will automatically update these as well. So as long as everything, everything here is correct, these should always be correct. So the next sheet I have is this 2018 new releases worksheet. These three sheets are kind of inspired by some of the, like, the spreadsheets that other people have, like, posted on YouTube, like, I watched their videos and kind of inspired this by them. It's not, they're not exactly the same, but I have obviously, like, added my own type of elements and things that work for me and things, different things I like to have in here, so. Basically, I just have this 2018 new releases sheet so I can keep track of all of 2018's releases that I'm interested in getting. So, um, as you can see here, I have all the totals and things, so, so there's like 103 total albums that I want from this year, 59 of which I have and 44 of which I need still, and, um, basically just i keep track of it by month and then i just include the artist um the album title what company they're from the date it came out like where it is in their discography and then i do the versions and then i'll list however many i need or have and then this column right here is just basically to say whether i have it or not so if it's pink it means i have it i have all the albums that i want and then gray means that I haven't, I don't have any of the albums yet. Um, I just haven't started buying any of those. I don't have any versions yet. And then this, this teal kind of color that I have right here means I have maybe like one version out of all of that there are. Um, or I just haven't, I don't have all of the albums that I want from that yet. So like, as you can see here for WJSN Stream Your Dream, I have one and still need two. So I have the teal color. But yeah, that's it. I don't have anything in this column just because there's not, no information I need to put there. And I just have it for like the total at the top. Um, but yeah, this is just all of the 2018 releases that I'm interested in buying eventually. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I will buy it soon or even in 2018, um, but they are releases that I do want to have. And if any information isn't filled in like this part right here, it's just because I don't have that information yet. Um, yeah, I, I usually fill things in off the top of my head as well, so if I ever leave anything blank, I'll usually go back to it. As of right now, there's nothing blank here, but... So this next sheet, the boy group sheet, this is just how I keep track of all of the boy groups that I collect. Um, I obviously keep track of them by artist, and everything is in alphabetical order. Um, and then I do just have the same kind of totals that I have. Um, all formulas and things, just the basic sum functions, and it's the same within each and every, like, different artist or group. I mean, I just put the group's name, what company they're from, in the title part, and then... Yeah, it's basically just the same as my 2018 new releases sheet. It's just the album date it was released, where it is in our discography, and the version. I do collect promos for some albums, so I'll just put that there. And then this column I do use for, like, notes and things. So any, like, additional information that I think is important, I will put it in this column. You'll kind of see what I put in this column once I kind of go through this more. But And then I do use this column in these sheets, um... It's basically just filled with X's, but what I did was is I added pictures, so if you click on the X, it'll, it's basically like linked, um, it'll open up a picture of, a picture that I took myself, like for my Instagram, because I do post my albums on my Instagram, but this column is a work in progress, um, I don't have pictures for all of my albums yet, so once I get pictures for more, more of my albums, I will fill this in, but yeah, then this extra column right here is basically just whether or not I have posted it on Instagram, because... It's just information I like to know. So so right now a lot of these have X's, um, but if I do post it on Instagram, I will change this the X to an X just like this. Um, and that's basically it. Um, it's not real necessary information, but it is information that I'd like to know, just because I'd like to have most of my albums posted eventually. And then, like as you can see here, like I have Hot Shots and my Hot Shots signed, so I just put that information in here. That's basically what I use this column for. I'll just... Um, but if I have something signed or not, and that's basically it. Um, but yeah, here's another like example for like the picture. So it just opens straight up to a picture that I have. Um, it is linked to a picture that is 
like a file on my computer it's not linked to like an online thing but yeah so that is everything and I do separate things by um, whether it is a Japanese release or a Korean release because um, it's just easier for me to kind of discern what is what and keep track of those things because I do tend to collect Korean and Japanese discographies differently but yeah this is everything um, so yeah information there's like that's Young solo album and then like for NCT I put which unit the album release is from so like recently I just decided to collect NCT Dream so I put that all in here just so I could better like see what is what because essentially I know what releases are from which groups but it is good information to have to make things you know more clear or whatever so yeah to continue yeah so this is just how everything is And yeah, that's it for this. Um, I just recently added this part for 101, so it's not completely filled out yet. Um, I don't really, I haven't really added DVDs and photo books to this for some reason. I don't know why. I guess I just didn't really think about it, but um, that's something I'll have to add, like, soon. Because it is a part of my collection, so. Yeah, that'll be added soon when I have some time to update this more. But yeah, that was my boy groups, and the girl group sheet is essentially exactly the same. There's nothing different at all. Yeah, so that's, it's just basically the same exact thing. Um, nothing, nothing different. Um, like for Luna, I separated everything by pre-debut and post-debut. Just to make that easier myself, because their pre-debut list is large, so. It'll be easier for me to, like, see what is what that way. Um, but yeah, throughout your you'll see kind of things crossed out um, and that's just kind of versions of albums I don't want like they're, they're like versions that exist but um, I just don't plan on buying that version of it um, so like the automatic version of ice cream cake and um, like here with twice is twice Instagram, I don't plan on getting the pink or yellow version so I just cross those out but I keep them there so I know that they like exist in our things in their discography um, but yeah so that's that for my girl groups and boy groups sheets and next is my photo card sheet. So this one, I came up with this format all like by myself. Like I organized this myself. Um, I didn't really really take any additional inspiration from any how anyone else has set it up. So basically, I just have kind of my stats up here. So how many photo cards I have and how many I need, and they're just set up with the basic X and check mark. Um, and the way I set this up was everything is still in alphabetical order. I don't have it separated by boy group and girl group. But, um, I have whichever group it is and then whoever it is I collect from that group. Um, so, like, and I'll use, just list things in, like, a basic kind of outline format. So I'll just have the release. And if there's more than one card per release that I need to collect, I will do it in this kind of indented way. So I know that it's from whichever release. Um... So, like, for Brave Girls with OT5, like, there's high heels and then all the cards I need, and then Roland and then all the cards I need from Roland. And then, like, if there's different versions from an album, like with Somi from Daya, so, like, for Yellow, there's three different versions, so I put the three different versions under Yellow. And then, basically, it just counts how many cards I have from a specific group or person. Um, it'll just basically, the count if function just basically counts if there's a check check mark in this column so it counts how many cards I have from a group and then it also this so like if I were to change this to an X this number would go down right here it would go down to 17 and then this number right here would go down as well so then if I change it back to a check mark these numbers would go back to where they need to be so it's pretty easy to like count and keep track of which cards I have and which cards I don't um, but basically it's like this for all of the cards I have, um, I do have four Donghan cards, but, um, I have it, I have it, like, listed as what's on the back of the card. And I accidentally deleted this, and I don't remember what was on the back of the card. But, yeah. So, I guess, if someone is in more than one group, like these three, um, I have both of the groups they're in. And then I'll just separate it that way, so, um, this isn't really a good example, so I'll use... Chunga, because she has IY cards and then solo cards, so I'll separate it by her IY cards um, just by labeling that, and then I'll separate by her solo cards. So that's just how that would look. Um, but yeah, this is basically everything. Um, I guess for like 
sets of cards. So like, let me see if I can find an example here. Um, so like for Jihyo, for the Once Begins photo card set, um, I don't have a way to make it count as more than one photo card because this set in particular is six cards, I think. So um, I don't necessarily want to list it out six times. So I just have the set listed once. Um, and it's just counting as one photo card rather than six. I don't know if there's a real good way to remedy that. I don't know. It's not too big of a deal just because I'm not really concerned with the amount of photo cards I have. Like, I don't need to exactly know, but it's also not as accurate as it could be. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever come up with something to fix that or not. It's not a big deal though, but yeah. As you can see, both of my 17 and twice lists are very long. Um, and I'll only list cards that I want. So I won't list every single card. Um, so for example, what is love? It has, um, I'm missing two more cards from this, like the normal version cards. And also like, like her transparent thing and like the sticker things, but I don't plan on getting those. So I won't add them. And like same with Dance the Night Away, I only want like a portion of the cards, so I don't list them all. But yeah, so that's everything, and I do also have an other section, just because I do have cards from people I don't necessarily collect, like with 101, I did collect their full set for to be one. So I just listed everything here so I could have a more accurate count of everything I have. And yeah, and I also listed some full sets and things like that. Um, I don't have everything listed here, just because I still need to go through my binders and just put everything in. But that's basically everything for this sheet. Um... I like the way this is set up quite a bit, um, just because it's pretty easy to kind of, you know, just do that. Say I have a card, or, you know, whatever. But, my next sheet, this sheet right here, this sheet I just made really recently, and recently I decided I wanted to collect 48 group albums, um, just from, just from whichever, like, sister groups. Um, just basically, I want to buy albums or singles from the songs that I like, um, so I'm obviously not going to be buying everything, and everything I buy from these 48 groups is going to be very limited. But um, that is the reason why I made this spreadsheet and why everything is pretty detailed. So as you can see, I put the album cover of the version I want. I put the title in both Japanese and, like, Romanized, whatever. Um, the date release, just so I can keep everything in, you know, release order. Um, where it is in their discography, I list all the version types because they have a lot of version types. Um... So, like, with this one, there's type A, type B, and the theater edition. And with Teacher Teacher, there's, like, a whole bunch of different versions. There's, like, nine nine different versions. So, um, it could be pretty easy to kind of mix them up. Um, so, I just have everything listed there. And then I have the version-exclusive songs listed, just because a lot of the reason I will choose a version that I want is because of the version-specific songs. So, as you can see, I have the A version. I have it bolded and highlighted in pink just so I know that that is the version I want and I chose that version because of mystery line like I want that song so that is the reason I chose this version in particular it is like basically the only reason I chose this version because I feel as if I don't have the songs I want in particular it's not worth buying the album um, and then I just list again which which version I want so I have everything laid out really clearly just so I don't get anything mixed up just because I'm not as familiar with 48 group albums as I am with like K-pop albums or anything so I feel like if I list everything out really clearly I'm not going to make any mistakes and I should be able to get whichever version I want without any real problem. And so if I buy an album I'll put the one here and put it and fill this in pink if I buy it. And then obviously great if I don't and there will be a zero here if I don't have it. And then everything totals right right here. Yeah, and hopefully there never gets to a point where there's more than one, more than a one in this column because I don't need to buy more than one version of these albums. But, um, like, going into more detail with why I choose what I choose, like which versions, um, the B version I chose because of this song in particular, but it's also because Miru and Judy are on this album cover, so I wanted that one because I like them quite a bit. And then for this HKT48 album, I really like this song on the theater version. So... I want this one for sure. I really, really like this song. It is really fun. Um, but, I mean, it's a plus that Nako is on the cover because I do like her a lot. But um, this song is the reason I chose that one. I prefer it over all of the B-sides. And then, as you can see with this NG NGT48 album, I don't have which version I want to put in yet just because I don't know. I haven't really listened to the B-versions yet. Um, well, I have listened to them, but like not enough to 
decide whether I like one of them more than the other. But if I don't come to a conclusion over which song I prefer, I'm going to choose the version that No Way is on the cover of. Um, might be the V version, but I'm not sure. Um, just because if there's not a version of the song I want, I'll just pick whoever I like that's on the cover. Um, and that's it. Just because I do like the single a lot, like the main single, so I want to buy this. Otherwise, if I didn't like the main single, I wouldn't want to buy it, of course. And then with this NMB48, it is both because of this song and also because Miru is on the cover as well. Um, she was the center for this song, so of course she's on this A cover. If you're interested in any of that, that is the reasoning why the sheet exists. Just so I don't have any troubles, you know, buying specifically what I want. Because I feel like there's a lot of room to choose the wrong version. Or, yeah, I really like this sheet a lot just because it is so detailed. And I really like having the pictures in it. I think that helps quite a bit. That's the sheet. And then I also have just a key over here. Um, just because this sheet is quite a bit different from my boy group and girl group sheets. So um, I just wanted to have the key to keep everything kind of straight in my mind. But yeah, that's that. And then basically this is just an album wish list. This is something I just type out and just manually update. Um, so if I get something, I will delete it off this list. If I add something in any of these sheets, I will add, add it here as well. So... And I also keep track of whether I want want to buy it anywhere used. It's just a basic list that I keep of everything that I'm looking to buy eventually. Um, and then this sheet right here is just groups I might want to start collecting in the future. So I know as of right now, I definitely want to start collect collecting Inchia and Noir. So I might actually move them over here soon. Like as of right now, I don't technically collect them. So um, yeah. And there's not many here because I don't... I'm not really looking to start collecting any more groups at the moment. Um, but yeah, that was basically everything. Um, I really like having this spreadsheet, like I said at the beginning. Um, it just keeps everything very organized, and it helps me keep track of things without actually having to like look at my collection physically. So anytime I want to know how many albums I have, I don't have to go through and count everything, um, because it is kind of getting to the point where I have a lot. So it's nice to kind of have a running total, just because it's something I like to know. But yeah, that was everything. I really do enjoy like watching pe watching these kinds of videos um organization just in general is something i like to see and watch people discuss and go through um but yeah so that was my spreadsheet um hopefully you enjoyed thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video yeah, thank you.